Maybe I'm just too paranoid. Perhaps a day at the beach will relax me. Oh, wait, I forgot. Everything in the ocean wants to kill me! This is reasons to be scared of the future. Hello, I'm Reese Darby. And now that I'm safely back inside, let me tell you about the latest threat to your life. Well, at the very least, your next summer vacation. Jellyfish blooms, which may sound nice, but they're not. They're horrible, poisoned, tentacled monsters. There's one there. Well, for a start, jellyfish and the whole urinating thing's wrong. I don't know where that rumor came out. It was some NBC sitcom or something, but don't do it. Some people are actually peeing on jellyfish. That just makes them angrier. You pee on the wound, but don't do that because it doesn't work. It used to be found only in Australia, or Mother Nature's Assassin Academy, as I refer to it. Oh, a free trip to Australia. Now, thanks to the spreading notion of water, it's spread itself to other tropical regions, like California! Huh? How does that grab you? Not so much California dreaming now, is it? Or California screaming. <laughs> Anyone? No. Wish I had an audience. It's also one of the few jellyfish that actively hunts its prey instead of just floating through the ocean aimlessly like those other blobs of uselessness. And these jellyfish, by the way, are not isolated predators. They've been showing up on beaches all around the world, piled up on top of each other, like some terrifying scene from that movie. That I can't remember, it's a cartoon one. The kids are really into and you've got to find one of the fishes. This agricultural runoff contains a lot of plant fertilizers, which as it turns out, works just as well on the algae, or algae, depending on what school you went to, in the ocean. So, get that shouted at you. And that's why I never go to the beach. It's not because I'm very pale and I can't really build sandcastles to save myself. Not that you'd ever have to build sandcastles to save yourself. Build that sandcastle! Why? Otherwise you I'll kill you. If, if that was the scenario, I would do it. But it's, that's not going to happen. Now, since algae is the main food supply for jellyfish, the more algae, the more jellyfish. <laughs> How do we break that chain? Well, we need to kill the jellyfish. Does it work? Yes, of course it does. It's the circle of life. There's got to be things that eat jellyfish, right? There are turtles, tuna, sharks. Oh, tuna's gone. We ate those. I'm sorry, all right? I'm, I'm just, I like tuna. I didn't know it was a fish. Sharks, killing them by the dozen. Turtles. Well, no one knows what happens with turtles. What I'm trying to say is the, the circle of life is breaking down. It's becoming less of a circle and more of a crescent. It's the crescent of life. Stupid jellyfish. So there it is. After overfishing the oceans, we're left to stare at the water mournfully as Cthulhu's children clog up the beaches. You know what I'm talking about. Look it up. Google it. On the plus side, I could buy a hormone-ridden chicken for $4. So that's, that's good, especially if you've got $4. Well, that's it for this week. Sweet dreams, everyone. Where am I going? I live in a bunker. <laughs>